Well, the Knoxville community was given the chance to pay their respects to Knox County Deputy Tucker Blakely this afternoon at a memorial that was set up by the Sheriff's Office. WAT6 on your side, reporter Ella Wales, spoke with some of those who came by the memorial and joins us now live in the studio with that story. Ella. Don, KCSO set up Blakely's patrol car outside the city county building for people to come by and remember the fallen officer after he was shot and killed while responding to a call earlier this week. Brotherhood, even though after we retire, we don't, we don't retire. We go into a support role. And when things like this happen, especially at your at your at your home agency at your at your uh, alma mater it hits hard chris olson was a knox county sheriff's deputy for 20 years before retiring in 2011. he brought a lasered wood carving he made to the memorial to honor blakely hopefully it'll be something that his wife can hang up and uh in in, in the in the room or the wall that she'll memorialize him with and uh it'll it'll bring her comfort jason acuff is also a retired deputy who laid candles in front of the patrol car that's still family. Um, I retired in 2014 and it's still a brother. One deputy laid a flag over the car for people to sign with messages to Blakely and his family. Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs was one of those who signed. I think it's very important to do things like this, um, you know, because all of us as a community feel uh, the loss, um, you know, and also to uh, let Officer Blakely's family understand that, that we all are thinking about them. They're all praying for them. Olson says he's not surprised by the members of law enforcement visiting the memorial and that there's nothing they can do to repay those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Officers will still show up, even 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 you know with with all the problems that we're having in society today, um, they still show up to do the job, and those people need to be applauded, lauded. They need to be supported, um, and when they fall in the line of duty, their families need to be supported. Throughout the day, there were more people driving by in their cars to take a look at the memorial and employees of other agencies based in the city county building coming outside, taking a moment to reflect. Don. Hi, Ella. Thank you. By the way, Knox County Sheriff's Office isn't alone in showing support for the fallen officer. Law enforcement agencies across East Tennessee are mourning the loss of Deputy Blakely. We're told that Anderson County Sheriff Russell Barker contacted Knox County Sheriff Tom Spangler offering support right after the shooting. Um, Sheriff Barker immediately notified Sheriff Spangler that any assistance at all that Knox County needed, Anderson County would be there. Uh, and we will certainly do that and we'll have a presence at any services. We also now know the funeral arrangements for Deputy Blakely. We want to pass those on. His body is going to lie in state beginning Friday morning at 10. That will be at the Clear Springs Baptist Church on Taswell Pike in Corrington. The celebration of life will begin at 2 p.m. The public, by the way, invited to those. But in lieu of flowers, donations can be made to his son Hendrick's Education Fund at the Knoxville Law Enforcement Federal Credit Union on Summit Hill Drive. And the Thin Blue Line Foundation, which helps families of law enforcement after tragedies, has set up a fundraiser on its website. You can buy items honoring Blakely, including T-shirts, stickers, hats, hoodies, and more. We're told 100% of the profits will be going back to his family. If you're interested, all you have to do is go to bluelinetennessee.com and check out the list of items they have there.